Evansville firefighter tells 14 News tonight all he wanted was to be treated like a human being during a police incident. The off-duty firefighter who had been riding his bicycle claims he was cuffed, thrown to the ground, and threatened with a taser after a police officer thought he had given him the middle finger. Brian Bozen here with the fallout, which includes a police investigation. David and Jackie, firefighter George Madison Jr. says he doesn't want any publicity. He just doesn't want this to happen to somebody else. We caught up with George tonight, who declined to be interviewed, but George tells us he's shaken by the incident and believes this may have been personal. This is the picture gone viral. Evansville firefighter George Madison Jr. kneeling on the ground near the corner of Riverside and Weinbach in handcuffs. He tells 14 News he was threatened with a taser and scared by the officer's actions. He called me yesterday afternoon uh, right after the incident happened, said he was on his bicycle, went through a stop sign, saw a police car, and uh, said that he waved at the officers, but he thinks the officers thought he was flipping them off. Police Chief Billy Bolin, who is friends with Madison, says the incident is now under investigation. I know him. I like him. I know the officers involved. I like the officers involved. So it, my job is to try to figure out the truth no matter who you like. In a Facebook post, the youth pastor and member of the department's combat challenge team yeah. says he doesn't think race had anything to do with what happened. He tells 14 News the stop seemed to be more of a personal issue than a professional one. Just because somebody says something, we can't automatically assume it's the truth. I'm not saying I'm doubting anything George has said, but we got to hear both sides and, and get to the bottom of it. Madison says he's not out to create a media storm and wants the investigation to run its course. He tells 14 News there are great guys on our police department. The officer involved may be one of them, but yesterday he wasn't showing he was. And the EPD released a statement on this today, reading the investigation began this morning in order to preserve the integrity of the investigation and to ensure fairness for all of the involved parties. The EPD will not comment on the incident at this time. Bolin tells us he hasn't spoken with the officers involved and they're not being named yet pending the end at the outcome of the investigation. He says they will be interviewed once Madison files a formal complaint that could happen next week.